Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can mine Monero cryptocurrency on your M1 MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or Mac Mini. I'm not suggesting that you should do this, I'm just going to show you how to mine in case you want to experiment with mining or potentially get some Monero without having to buy it through an exchange. First, you're going to need a wallet so that you have somewhere to store the Monero coins that you mine. There are lots of options for wallets. There's an official Monero GUI wallet with a macOS client, Coinomi wallet which allows you to add multiple different cryptocurrencies, and if you have an iPhone you can use Cake Wallet which is available on the App Store. But the wallet I'm using is the My Monero wallet. It's been around for a few years, it's simple to use, open source, it has a desktop GUI client for macOS, and it's maintained by the core Monero dev team. Just be careful to download it only from the official MyMonero.com website and from nowhere else. On the MyMonero.com website, click the Download Mac button and then click Allow to download the wallet to your Mac. Once it's downloaded, open your Downloads folder and double click the DMG file to mount it. Then drag the MyMonero icon to your Applications folder. In your Applications folder, double click the My Monero icon. The first time you run the app, you'll have to create your wallet. So click Create New Wallet at the bottom, and then you can choose a name and a colour for your wallet. I'm just going to call mine Monero Coins and give it a nice white colour. Then click Next at the top of the page. Now you'll be given some warnings about security and about keeping your wallet safe. Every Monero wallet gets a unique 25 word sequence called a mnemonic and it's crucial that you write this down and keep it somewhere secure. If you lose it, you'll no longer have access to your cryptocurrency. Once you've read the warnings, you can click on Got It and then click Next at the top. Now you'll see a window with your special word sequence. Write all of these words down on a piece of paper in the same order that they appear on the screen. Once you've done that, you can click on Next. After clicking Next, you'll be asked to verify your words by choosing the first seven words from your sequence in the correct order. Click each of the words one by one in the same order you wrote them down. Once you've done that, click the Confirm button at the top. Finally, you'll be asked to create a PIN or a password. This is used to encrypt the data on your device and to lock the wallet app when you're not using it. Choose a password or a PIN with at least 6 characters and click on Next. And that's it, your wallet is created and you're ready to start sending or receiving Monero. Next you'll need to download some software to do the actual mining. In this video I'm going to be using XMRig, which is available as an ARM64 native binary to run on the M1 Max. There are also versions for Intel Macs and for Windows or Linux. Go to the XMRig GitHub page, which I'll link down in the video description, and click on Binary Releases under Download. This will bring you to the download page for the latest version. Scroll down until you find the version for macOS ARM64 and download it. Once it's downloaded, open your Downloads folder and double click the XMRig tar file to decompress it. Then drag the entire folder from Downloads into your Applications folder. Next, you need to decide on a pool to mine with. There are lots of pools to choose from like MineXMR.com, SupportXMR.com and Nanopool, but my personal favourite where I've been mining for a few weeks is MoneroOcean.stream. I'll link all of these pools down in the video description. Now I have to configure the XMRig miner to use the MoneroOcean.stream pool. XMRig's configuration is stored in a file called config.json. It's just a plain text file so you can open it in text edit. Once it's open, scroll down through the file and look for the section headed pools. Now, there are a few things that I need to change. First, next to Algo, I'm going to change it from null to rx forward slash zero, which is the random x algorithm used to mine Monero. Next, I'm going to change coin from null to Monero. Below coin is the pool URL. The address for the pool I'm using is gulf.moneroocean.stream. So I'm just going to copy that from the Monero Ocean website and paste it into the file. 
Next, the port number is 10128. So I'm going to copy that too and paste it into the text file, replacing what's there. Now, next to user, you'll need to put your wallet address. This is where the Monero coins that you mine will be sent. So go to the Mine Monero app and click on your wallet. Next to where it says address, click on copy, which will copy your wallet address to the clipboard. You can then just paste that into the text file with command and V to replace what's there. Now just save the text file and you're ready to start mining. Due to the security in macOS Big Sur, if you try to run XMRig, you'll see an error message saying that it's from an unidentified developer. To bypass this, go into System Preferences, click the Security and Privacy icon, and then click on Open Anyway. And then in the pop-up that appears, click Open again. Finally, XMRig will connect to the Monero Ocean Pool and start mining Monero. If it doesn't, make sure that you haven't made any mistakes in the config file, especially look for missing commas or quotation marks. My hash rate here is only about 1860 hashes per second, but that's just because I've got the screen recorder running at the same time. Normally with my MacBook Air, I can get a steady 2180 hashes per second, and on the M1 MacBook Pro or Mac Mini, which have a fan, you should be hitting about 2300. Finally, I'll show you how to get paid. Go back to the Monero Ocean Pool website, copy your wallet address from My Monero, and paste it into the field where it says your Monero address. You should then see your worker appear and you'll see the balance of how many Monero you've earned so far. If you click the icon next to the balance, you can change the payout threshold. The default is 0.3 Monero, but you can change it to anything you like with a minimum payout of 0.003. Just type the value you want into the box and click Update Threshold. That will save it and you'll be paid automatically as soon as the balance reaches the threshold. You'll see My Worker is just called X. It doesn't really matter but if you want to change that you can go back into the text file and change the pass field from X to whatever you want. So how much will you make? Well on my M1 MacBook Air with an average of 2180 hashes per second that would earn 0.0008 Monero per day, which is about 19 cents at the time of making this video. So you might have to hold off for a while on getting that Lambo. On the bright side, the M1 Max use very little power. In fact, Power Metrics reports that the M1 package is only pulling a little over 5 watts. So most of that 19 cents is straight profit. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.